I've been I it, 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 so so that's the end of the Mandela effect. Uh, I've been doing something lately. Really proud of this. Over yeah. the last year, over the last year, I've been saving uh, articles by Republicans about what's going to happen in uh, 2018. Okay, that should be very interesting. Uh, Pastor Rich Vera of the Center for Revival and he- Healing says that um, uh, Donald Trump will be releasing the cure for Alzheimer's. Okay. So that's awesome. Uh, uh, let's releasing see. or receiving? Uh, releasing it. Mm, okay. Carl yeah, no. Gass- receiving uh, it. That 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 I can see. Right-wing pastor Carl Gallups says that uh, in 2018, finally Trump will expose Obama's Obama's phony birth certificate. That's happening in in 2018. Let's see what else. Uh, where's my favorite one? Oh, Mark Taylor. We've talked about him before. He's the firefighter prophet. Yes. Uh, Trump will be releasing the cure for cancer and Alzheimer's in 2018. So we got that to look forward to. Yeah. Then, of course, there's the fact that that, you know, uh, the storm is going to be happening. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. We talked about the storm. And uh, everybody's going to start getting arrested because they are satanic, child molesting people. Yeah, I, yeah, I was wondering if, if, like, if we were due for something because the the internet's been crazy slow all all day. (laughs) Yeah, well, uh, I I figured the internet has been slowing down, so just to be safe, I drank a Red Bull right before the podcast. If I'm talking super fast, the internet will slow it down so that I'm manageable to hear. Oh, the baby got in. Hi. Hi. Eleanor. Yeah. That's Bunny and Jeannie. Say hi. Hey. Yes. Hey, baby. Mama's what? Mama. What about Mama? Mama. Say hi to Bunny. Hi. Hi. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. Hey, baby. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, baby. No, she's saying bunny. Oh. <laughs> That's her bunny. Well, Say bunny. Hi. 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 Can you say genie? Yeah, I know Bunny's on the phone. <laughs> Can you say genie? Can you say genie? <laughs> oh, she tried. Yeah, genie. You're apparently genie. So that's... that's... <laughs> I, I get all mm. kinds of things. Bye and genie. Those are the two. two. Bye, genie. Bye. Bunny, this is this is going to be a, a slightly awkward thing, especially with uh, the baby right here, uh, Goo Goo Gaga next to us. But I'm gonna I'm gonna soldier on. Okay. No, Bunny, let's talk about porn. Okay. No, I'm a big fan, Bunny. Uh, Bunny, who are some of your favorite porn actresses? Uh, I, I, I don't particularly keep up with a lot of the, a lot of the actresses, uh, Siri, I like a lot. Siri. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've talked about her before. Uh, I'm a big fan of Bridget, the midget, Bridget, the midget. We've talked about her before. One of my favorite porn actresses gained popularity at the turn of the century. So 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001, she occasionally went by the name Anne Howe, but she also went under the name Melissa Ashley. Her her name is actually Melissa Burst. Okay. So, so she changed it to Melissa Ashley. 
her mom was apparently a big porn actress in in porn movies in the 1970s. So it's a family thing. Yeah. So it's a yeah. So it's a, so it's a family dynasty business. She, yeah. Yeah. Melissa Ashley gained prominence due to the fact that even now, this woman is 39 years old and she still looks 19. It's real freaky. Really? Okay. It's really freaky how how even now to this day how young this 39-year-old looks. In fact, a Bing search, because fuck Google, a Bing search brought up the fact that apparently numerous times she has gone to court on behalf of men who were facing child pornography charges because police saw pictures of Melissa Ashley and went, oh, she has to be underage. Sir, you're being arrested for child pornography. And so she comes, she would... She has, at, in the past, gone to court for these men and be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm like a 30-year-old person. <laughs> so, so that's kind of of a funny story. Melissa Ashley is the star of such Academy Award-winning movies as Pop My Cherry, Knee Pad Nymphos, and of course... <laughs> The Asshole Andy series. <laughs> as well as, as well as, this is my favorite, the 2003 film that's simply titled It's Just Wrong. Oh. She has one video that's really hot if you put it on mute. There's yeah. this weird, this is an actual video that she has. And, uh, 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 Amber has come in, and I'm just continuing with the story because I'm in the middle of a story. Yeah, I'm, I, she, I, I'm in the middle of a story, and I'm just going to continue. You like gay porn? Me it's or? Nice to... No, no. Uh, I'm talking to Amber and Natasha now. It's nice to know that 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 you guys like gay porn because there's so many men out there that just love like lesbian porn. Like that's a huge thing. So it's nice to know that that there are women out there who like to guys, you know, that's kind of cool. So there's a video and it's Melissa Ashley and she's in the bath, right? Yeah. She's, she's in the bath and then there's a, a rubber duck there. Okay. There, there, there's a rubber duck and then the rubber duck comes to life and starts having sex with her. Okay. It's a really weird video, but it's really hot. I it, I had seen it a couple of times on mute and I thought it was a really hot scene. And then one day I decided to unmute it and apparently throughout the entire video the man duck is saying quack 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 as he's doing her. Yeah, that's well, you know, he's dedicated to his craft. Yeah, yeah. I, it's got to be difficult to have sex with someone in the bath while wearing a plastic duck mask. That's got to be difficult. You know, I mean, I've only done it once. So, well, I think I think more research in the area is needed. Yeah, probably. Well, about a year or two ago, I was bored and I decided to try and find Melissa Ashley on Facebook, which I did easily. And oh my god, Bunny, time has not been good to this woman. <laughs> time has not been great to her. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. She looks like she hasn't aged a freaking day. Yeah. She still looks like an 18-year-old, and it's freaking ridiculous. She is still freaking gorgeous. But the last few couple of years, she's had uh, siege seizures. And heart problems. She had to get a pacemaker. Really? She's undergone chemotherapy. She has kidney issues. And it's so sad, Bunny. Because these porn actresses, these porn models, Bunny, there's no sick pay for these people. No. There's no health plan. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing at all. They have to pay for everything themselves, and it's difficult, and it sucks. Yes. 
So she's been in and out of hospitals and in and out of the emergency rooms. We should, we should start a charity. <laughs> she she recently had to spend five consecutive weeks in the emergency room, racking up bills she couldn't afford. And this past time, which was five consecutive weeks, she spent so much time in that emergency room, she lost her apartment. And she was forced to move back in with her father sleeping in like this tiny little bedroom of yeah. an apartment somewhere it's sad it's all so sad so it, and it's fucked up the way that we treat porn actresses in america <laughs> it's also sad that as far as i can tell with social media one thing i've learned being on uh facebook so much apparently the primary method of health insurance that people are using is GoFundMe accounts designed to make me feel like shit? Yes. They, like, I thought that, that a lot of people would be on this type of health plan or this type of health insurance or, I don't know, Blue Cross or Sigma or something like that, mm -hmm. or Obamacare or fucking Trump care. I don't know. But apparently the, the main thing that people are doing for health care is just setting up GoFundMe pages and putting them on my feed to make me feel like shit. Yes. So long story short, please donate to Melissa Ashley's GoFundMe account for her health issues. The website is GoFundMe.com slash Melissa Ashley's medical expenses. If you've ever masturbated to Melissa Ashley, then <laughs> God damn it, you owe her one. <laughs> you need to give back. <laughs> give back. To this woman who has given so much to us. <laughs> so much to us. Also, it's ridiculous that there's this stigma about porn. And it's so weird because so many people are against porn. Yeah. Publicly. Yes. You know? good, good point. Yeah. There's just so many people that say, oh, I hate porn. I hate porn. Okay. Now I'm alone. Time to watch porn. <laughs> Ridiculous. I, I just feel that we should just be more open and honest about this. I loved Melissa Ashley growing up. Because right about the time that I was that I was getting older and you know going to college was right about the time Melissa Ashley got popular. And oh my god, I loved her. Tom and I loved her. We love freaking Melissa Ashley. She's now living in in a with her dad in a small apartment somewhere in Phoenix. Poor girl, and it's just sad. It, it, her in and out of freaking hospitals. Yeah, I tried to look up more about her health issues, and I I saw um, some guy saying, "Well, hey, that's what you get for partying so much when you were younger." And I'm like, "Ah, fuck you, yeah. fuck you." That was some website I saw. No, fuck you, sir. <laughs> Melissa Ashley is a goddamn treasure. <laughs> Love that woman, and and, and it, it's it's just sad the way that 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 these porn actresses are, you know, are become so popular and then are just kind of scattered to the wayside. Yeah. Uh, uh, cough, cough. Jenna Jameson, cough, cough. Yes. <laughs> I saw, saw her recently, and she looked like a. She looked like a robotic version of Jenna Jameson. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, hey, you had a you had a New York Times bestselling book. What happened? <laughs> that was weird. Weird to see her now. 